Jr. from Heroes and Legends. Today we have a boost box of Ether Revolt. We're going to go ahead and open up. This is the first one that we've opened on the channel. So it's the first one that I have received. So very excited about that. And try not to shake the camera too much as I open this. Turn the cellophane. There we go. That should hopefully do it. Maybe. Sort of. Or shouldn't take this long. All right, there we go. We got it. Of course, this being a new set, being just came out. And I'm pretty excited for this one. I got to play a little bit of limited uh, with this, and so far, it seems like a lot of fun. So I'm really excited to continue to play. It felt very different than Kaladesh. With Kaladesh, I feel like the Kaladesh mechanics were still relevant, at least in sealed, uh, probably more so in draft. However, they also felt a little more watered down by the other stuff going on. So, regardless, though, still pretty awesome. All right, so we have uh, Hidden Herbalist, Barricade Breaker, a Fatal Push, first pack. That's not bad at all. We'll take that. And we have a Heroic Invention. So, our Intervention, Heroic Intervention. So. Prevents or permanents you control gain hex proof and indestructible until end of turn. Nice. All right. So there's pack one. We'll just keep going here. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves a good booster box to start things off for this set. All right. We have Skyship Plunder, Deft, Deft Dismissal. Another Fatal Push, we'll take it, there's two. And a Call for Unity is our rare. And we have ourselves a foil, it's an Iron Shred Crusher. Very cool, actually looks kinda nice in foil. All right, pack two on the books, we'll just keep moving. I wanna go sorta of quick through this, but also I know it's a new set, so I kinda wanna give it its time too, but I know for the most part, people are more interested in the rares than anything. Uh, Foundry Hornets, Hidden Herbalist again, Hungry Flames, and our rare is a Kari Zev's Expertise. I did get to play with that card and, and see all those actually pretty good, as you can imagine. All the Expertises are pretty awesome. I had that one and Mahini's in my deck, yeah. So, that was pretty awesome. Did quite well. I didn't get to cast them back to back, but <laughs> still. Still a very good. All right, we have Renegade Rallyer, Ravenous Intruder, Pima Ether Seer, and our rare is a Whir of Invention. Uh, it's a cool card. I mean, some people consider it the um, artifact version of um, Court of Calling. It's not quite that good, but still seems like it could be very good in the right deck. And Life Crafter's Gift in Foil is what we get there. Okay, so far so good. Haven't had any mythics yet, that's okay. Means good stuff coming. <clears throat> Alright, we have ourselves Gremlin Infestation, Maverick Thopterist, Barricade Breaker, and our rare is a Dark Intimidate Intimations. Uh, so, and there's the Energy Reserve token. I think it's one of the first I've opened on the channel. Um, so, uh, this is the kind of story uh, spotlight card that kind of calls forth the next storyline with Bolas. So that's a pretty cool card. If for no other reasons, made for lore reasons, it's kind of fun. Okay. We get an Ornithopter. Nice. Classic card. Pima Ether Seer again. Renegade Wheelsmith. And a rare is Paya's Revolution. Seems like kind of a fun build around card if you can kind of get it to work, maybe in draft or something like that. I'd be curious to know if anyone has gotten that card to work. Okay. We have a Deft Dismissal, Winkin Raiders, Aerial Modification, and our rare is a Midnight Entourage. It's kind of the lord for Aetherborn. Oh, and we got a foil rare with Free Jam Region. So, <laughs> maybe not the foil rare you want, but it is a foil rare, nonetheless. Nonetheless. 
So aside from this box, I have some more openings that will be coming up. I don't know what order you'll probably see these in. I opened a box of Kaladesh, so I'm probably going to post that first before I actually post this, since I already posted the Ether Revolt Fat Pack. We have Gremlin Infestation, Skyship Plunder, Siege Modification, and our rare is a Yahini's Expertise. Second Expertise we pulled out of the box so far. Uh, love these cards, so I'm very happy to get them. I like to get a play set of them just to have, uh, because I think at different times any of them can have relevancy in standard, some maybe even other formats. Next we have Shielded Ether Thief, Renegade, Wheel Smith, Hungry Flames, and our rare is Rishkar's Expertise. There's the green expertise. So three expertises now so far. It's the first time I pulled the green one. All right, so let's keep going. So yeah, the Fat Pack we opened was really good. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's, it's funny because I opened it before the Star City Games opened, so like, there's a couple cards in there that are like, oh, that's a good card, but now after the open, like, it, it turned out to be an amazing fat pack. <laughs> uh, Ornithopter, Foundry Hornet, Maverick Thopterist, and a rare is a Green Wheel a Liberator. All right, no Mythics yet. It's a little scary, huh? <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm going to probably post the Kaladesh box opening first, more than likely, so you might see that on the channel for this pack opening for some reason. There we go. And uh, then I'll probably post this shortly after, and yeah, I have a lot of things coming up on the channel. We want to start focusing on Modern Masters, because that's going to be a thing. Alright, so we have Ironclad Revolutionary, Siege Modification. Windkin Raiders, and our rare is a Lightning Runner. There's our first Mythic, so Double Strike. Haste, so I a mean, good card for limited purposes, if nothing else. And uh, yeah, there you go. Not, not, not maybe a super exciting Mythic, but a card that has potential nonetheless. So, I don't know, so far this box, our first Mythic wasn't super exciting, and our Foil Rare was not very exciting, so I don't know, we'll see. We have a shielded Ether Thief again. We have a Daredevil Dragster. We got Spire Patrol, and our rare is a Call for Unity. All right, it's the second one of those we got, I think. Yeah, and we have a Foil Conviction from Stronghold. All right. We have a Life Crafters a Gift, Outland Boar, Aerial Modification, our rare is a Walking Ballista. Now we're talking, good rare. Um, we pulled two of these in our fat pack, so here's the third one now. Uh, very good card if you watch the Star City Games open, you know that uh, card really did some work this weekend. And at least for the initial stages of standard, it's pretty hot right now, so. Um, things change as the, as the Meta evolves, but right now doing really well. Ironclad Revolutionary, Lifecrafter's Gift, Vengeful Rebel, and our rare is a Metallic Mimic. There's a card I'm looking forward to kind of playing around with. I feel like that could be a fun card in a lot of formats, actually. All right. Oh, we're getting probably close to the halfway point here. We have an Outland Boar. Lifecrafter, uh, Lifecraft Awakening, Spire Patrol, and our rare is a Quicksmith Rebel. Okay. Of course, the dream is to hit a invention. <laughs> may or may not happen. I mean, we've been really lucky with inventions on the channel, so I can't really complain if we don't hit one. Uh, Daredevil Dragster, Thopter Arrest. Servo schematic, our rare, is a spire of industry. Kind of a cross between a glimmer void and a pain land. I think this is kind of the point it looks like anyway. I have a big county though. <laughs> Hopefully the second half of the box takes off a little bit. <laughs> Ravenous Intruder, Vengeful Rebel, 
Life Crafter, uh, Life Craft Awakening, the second time I've done that, and a Baral Expertise. So Baral's Expertise, the blue one, so we've got, what, four Expertises? I guess I can't complain about that. I mean, four Expertises. Uh, we got one Mythic so far, and we got four lands. And also the Walking Ballista, so... That's not horrible, I suppose. Uh, Narnan Renegade, Winding Constrictor, this is a pretty cool card. Servo Schematic, and a rare, is an Aether Sphere Harvester. Another card that did really well this weekend, and Star City Games Open, one to watch for sure. Uh, yes, maybe overshadowed in some ways from Heart of Karen, but um, still good, and definitely has its place, even if it's out of the sideboard sometimes. All right, we've got these Mechanations, uh, Efficient Construction, Thopter Arrest, and our rare is a Secret Salvage. We get ourselves a Tezzeret Emblem. Be nice to get a Tezzeret with that emblem, huh? <laughs> well, we still got some Mythic to go. I'll play with some good ones. Another Winding Constrictor, Consulate Dreadnought, Reckless Racer, and we got a Hope of Garibor. All right. Come on, box. <laughs> Off to a slow start here. Kind of debating whether I want to put values on this video or not. <laughs> if you see them, I guess I did it, but um, well, these cards are so new, sometimes the values are a little misleading. So I want to be kind of careful about that. Um, Ravenous Intruder, Shielded Aether Thief, Efficient Construction, and we have a Disallow. Disallow did a lot of work this weekend as well and the Open. Uh, very good card. It's going to see a lot of play, no doubt. No doubt. All right. So that's a good pull. I mean, the Harvester, the Ballista, the Disallow, all nice pulls. And I really like the expertises. We've seen, what, four of those, so. There are some good pulls here. I mean, it's a small set. We should hit some good stuff. Restoration Specialist, Treasure Keeper. Those are really interesting, uncommon. Uh, Reckless Racer, and our rare is an Ether Goad Miner. This actually saw a tad bit of play this weekend. I forget which deck it was now, but yeah, it, it was out there, so one to watch. Uh, Ether Chaser is our foil. First foil we've had in a while, too. <laughs> Not a ton of foils. Had a couple towards the beginning, but I think Conviction was our last one, right? I think we got a foil in this pack, too. Um, got these Mechanations. Narnum Renegade, Hidden Stockpile, and a rare. It's overall Chief of Compliance. I guess the first legendary we hit, the five legendary creatures. Uh, this is a cool one, though. Overall is definitely one that could be fun to draft around or play with. Uh, Daredevil Dragster is our foil. I like the foil vehicles. They just look different with the borders and stuff. All right, starting it down there. Still on one. <laughs> so I don't know. This box really needs to turn it up, though, from a mythic point of view. And we've got good rares, but um, we really should be hitting more than one mythic at this point in the box. Hidden stockpile. Council of Dread and, uh, oh, there's one, and it's a good one, Heart of Kieran. This, at this point, is the most valuable card in the set, actually, at the time of recording, anyway. Uh, we pulled one of these in our fat pack, too, so it's the second one we got in the channel. Really good card. Um, sees tons of play already. I think we'll continue to see a lot of play. Um, probably the best thing you can quite honestly pull in the set at this point, even counting uh, some of the Planeswalkers and stuff until something happens more with them, but a uh, great card for two mana. Some ways filling the void that Smuggler's Copter had left behind. So, uh, as much as it's fun to open a Planeswalker, that's probably the card you want to open in the whole set. So, I guess you can't complain about that, right? <laughs> okay. We got a Treasure Keeper again. We got Sly Requisitioner. Ridge Scale Tusker, and our rare is Aid from the Cowl. Okay. Okay. Well, we've hit two mythics. We got... Still got ten packs left, I think. Something like that. So, hopefully... We 
have a rogue refiner. Scrapper champion. Bridge scale tusker and a consulate crackdown. Alright, alright. Got a trophy mage. Oops, there we go. Trophy mage, restoration specialist, pacification array, and a green belt rampager. Wow. All right, now getting down there to final few packs. Just realized as I was doing this, my audio is not turned on. I mean, I'm, I'm still getting audio from the phone, but that's or from I'm still getting audio from the camera, but. I don't, um, <laughs> it probably won't sound right, so, <laughs> uh, Malthus Revolutionary, Pacification Array, Sly Requisitioner, and a Release of the Grab Ones. So, if you're hearing my voice, well, I figured out how to fix it, but if not, I might have put audit music to this one, sadly. Uh, Malthus Revolutionary, Rogue Refiner. And range giants and our rare is Kari Zeb, Skyship Raider. Okay. So that is at least our second legendary creature. Still only two mythics in this set. In this box. Alright, we got Gremlin Infestation, Skyship Plunder, Maverick Thopterist, and Inspiring Statuary. It's actually a pretty cool card, so another good rare. Alright, we're getting down there. Nope, oh, saw a rare. We got a Scrapper Champion. Reverse Engineer. Build our Guardian. It's actually the first one we've opened. Like, counting our fat pack and the box. <laughs> um, so, not easy to come by. We get another Free Jam Regent. Wow, so we are down to five packs. And <laughs> we only have two Mythics. Um, I think the worst I've ever opened is a three mythic box, like in my life. <laughs> so um, we're on par to do that. Erna, Admiral, Admiral, um, Enraged Giant, <laughs> Reverse Engineer, and a Life Crafter's Bestiary. Actually, a pretty cool rare. I I'm interested in this card. I feel like it could do really good things in the right deck. Four to go. Okay. Aeronaut Admiral again. Untethered Express. Another Fatal Push. That's how many Fatal Pushes? Three or four? Three, I think. Uh, Ether and Ether Tide Whale is our rare. Wow. Okay. Three packs? Could this be a two Mythic box? Did I get the Mythic? I don't think so. <laughs> I think this is perhaps a two Mythic box. All right, we have a... Untethered Express, Gifted Etherborn, another Felidar Guardian, and a rare it is Ram's Expertise. So we got one of each expertise, is that right? I believe. Did we get the blue one? I don't remember. I think so, though. Uh, we do have a foil in this one. It's an Aegis Automaton. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, basically a cycle of expertises. A couple of legendary creatures. Um, the Walking Ballista, the Heart of Karen is huge for all. I mean, that's awesome. The best card really in the set. I can't imagine we're going to go through these last two packs with no more Mythics. Uh, Gifted Aether, Aetherborn, Pima Aether Seer, Maverick Thopterist, and our rare is Akari Zab's expertise again. Had one of those earlier. And here we go, last pack. Is this a two Mythic box? <laughs> may, did, I, may, did I miss a Mythic? I don't think I did. Um... This is the last pack too, real quick. Assuming you hear this, um, check out our links below in the, in the description section for our Patreon page to help support us, as well as our Amazon affiliate store. Anything you buy in the store, small percentage comes back to help support us. That's always appreciated. Well, fast engineer, another fatal push. At least like a play set of those. Pima, uh, Pima Ether uh, Seer, and finally. We get an Oath of a Johnny. And just cool rare, but wow, it's a two mythic box. In that case, I mean, no planeswalkers. I mean, not that 
they're really hot right now anyway, but <laughs> no planeswalkers. Uh, we did get the Heart of Kirin, so that was a great pull, and Walking Ballista was fantastic as a rare. Um, but, and we did get, we got a lot of good rares. I mean, the expertise is really awesome, I think, and at least all had potential to do something. We got some other cool ones that go with here, but, uh, wow. <laughs> I've never opened a two mythic box before in my entire life, much less on cameras. So that is amazing. Maybe I missed one. I don't know. Maybe there's a third in there that I didn't see. But I think it was only two that I can remember. So holy cow. Uh, but anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Hey, thanks as always for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.